Shalom Jews, how are ya? Yes, yes, you are Jews. Yes, you it. Oh, I love being a Jew. I love being a Jew in the summertime especially. It's easy. It's hard in the United States. The hardest time in the United States to be a Jew is what time of the year? Winter. Winter and Christmas, both acceptable. <laughs> yes. It's so hard. We try to lie to ourselves. We tell ourselves, hey, Christmas ain't so great. You know? Hanukkah is just as good. Right? Christmas, one day. Hanukkah, eight. Christmas, one day presents. Hanukkah, eight. Christmas, you get one Xbox, one iPad. Hanukkah, we get eight pairs of socks. Yeah. <laughs> Beat that. I love Hanukkah. Give me an H. Give me an A. Give me C A. Give me C H A. C A H A N K K K K. Okay, that's not right. Uh, they don't like candles on fire. They, uh, they, nobody knows how to. Oh, uh, leave the K K K alone. Um, nobody knows how to spell Hanukkah. Everyone here, they, everyone here has a different spelling of Hanukkah. But we all know how to spell Christmas, don't we? Right? It ends M A S and it begins with the name of our Lord, of course. No, some people won't have it. I bet there's some people here say, no, I do not write out Christmas. I won't do it. No. What do they do instead of Christmas? Xmas. That's right. X-M-A-S. Take that. Really? Xmas? As if Christmas weren't cool enough, now it's one letter away from being an X-Man. <laughs> That's practically saying that Jesus could be Wolverine, which would be awesome. <laughs> Now that I think about it, Jesus and Wolverine, kind of similar. <laughs> think about it. They both had tortured past, poor choice of words. Um, they both had famous origin stories, uh, unkempt hair, indestructible adamantium skeleton with retractable claws. Um, well, no, actually, that kind of works, because Wolverine had metal come out of his hands and Jesus was Jewish. Um, it's. Uh, uh, Remember the cool X-Men, Wolverine? No. Uh, I, I like Hanukkah. I like it, but the only problem I have has got to be the food. You know, it was mentioned earlier, I think, because what is the name of the chocolate confection in the little mesh pouch? Shout out if you know. Yes. Right, of course. How Jewish. Even the candy sounds like guilt. <laughs> Why not call it a bag of I really shouldn't? <laughs> Really? Gallows? Really? This is what we're putting out there, Jews? Chocolate coins? Are we trying to perpetuate this stereotype now? I mean, what's next? You know, marzipan noses, candy corn horns, chocolate covered foreskins? It doesn't make sense. Which, which incidentally is the name of my favorite interracial Jewish porno. But that's beside the point. That, it's a good move. Um, I also like Tyrell's first Kanaka Bush. But besides Kanaka and Christmas, something I like as well. It's easier in the spring, I think. Because in the spring, in the spring, it's a lot easier to be a Jew. Because what is the Jewish holiday in the spring? Passover. And the Christian holiday? Easter. Right. Now, on paper, they seem kind of similar. But then you realize, they're not similar at all. Because Christians, they get glazed ham and candy yam and cooked with Pam and jam. I don't know what Christians eat. But <laughs> Jews get matzah, which is like cardboard that makes you irregular. Uh, but Christians, they get chocolate eggs, chocolate rabbits, chocolate everything, chocolate, chocolate. Jews get chocolate covered matzah. <laughs> And yet, therein lies the mystery of Easter and Passover. It's not, where did the Jews hide the Afi comb? It's not, why does the Christian guy have a Hispanic first name? It's not that. <laughs> the real mystery, the mystery is, tell me, why? Why do Christians love matzah so damn much? It doesn't make sense. But I figured it out. I have figured it out. You see, Christians, they go to church, right? And they get a little tiny wafer. And they're told, this wafer is the body of Jesus. This wafer is their God. And then Passover comes. And Jews show up with their gigantic sheets of matzah. 
And Christians have a gastronomical theological crisis. They lose their minds. They're like, your Jewish God must be huge. <laughs> Christians have cracker envy, people. And they think we have the Costco version of the communion way. <laughs> but you know, Snack food. Uh, but you know, apparently, apparently that's what Jesus said at the Last Supper. That's what he said. Apparently he was hosting the Last Supper. He's like, thank you, all my apostles for being here. Thank you. John, Paul, Ringo, <laughs> Zach, Cody, thank you for coming. Uh, here, have this crack. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks. That cracker is my body. Excuse me? Okay, uh, well, geez, it's a little dry, so I guess you should moisturize. Um, do you have anything to wash it down? How about some wine? It is my blood. All right, Jesus. First of all, next time I pick the caterer. Um, Second of all, is there any food here that is not made of you? Uh, what do you got over there? Oh, you mean these two eggs and this pickle? You know what? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, my friends. Please, have a good time.